Hello, welcome to chapter 3, Bootstrap Grid System, brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn what is Bootstrap Grid System, what are the Bootstrap Grid classes, and also we are going to learn the Bootstrap Grid System rules. Right now, let us understand what is Grid and what is Bootstrap Grid System. Okay, as said by the Wikipedia, in graphic design, a grid is a structure which is made up of a series of intersecting straight lines used to structure the content. Okay, coming to the web design, in web design, a grid it is a very effective method to create a consistent layout rapidly and effectively using HTML and CSS. Okay, to put in simple words, grid in web design it is used to organize and gives the perfect structure or shape to the content, and that's what the grid in web design is. And coming to the Bootstrap grid system, as said by the official documentation of Bootstrap, the definition for Bootstrap grid system is: Bootstrap includes a responsive, mobile-first, fluid grid system that appropriately scales up to 12 columns as the device or the view port size increases. Okay, and to put in simple words, the Bootstrap 3 is mobile first in the sense that the code for Bootstrap now starts by targeting smaller screen screens like mobile devices, tablets, and then expands components and grids for larger screens such as laptops and desktops. Okay, and that's what the official definition which which we found in the official documentation of Bootstrap. And coming to the next slide, what we are going to learn here, we are going to learn completely what is Bootstrap grid system. Okay, and here is the definition for that. Bootstrap grid system is used for creating the page layouts with a series of rows and columns. Okay, uh, the word striking your mind right now is page layout. What is this page layout? Page layout it is a term used to describe how each web page should appear when it is opened in the web browser. Okay, it means that page layout it includes elements like margins, the number of columns, the header, and the footer. Okay, etc. And that's what the page layout is. Okay, and Coming to the Bootstrap Grid system, it allows up to 12 columns across the page. In the sense, Bootstrap Grid system is going to give us 12 columns across the page and it's up to our, our wish, how do we make use of that 12 columns to make the page layout. Okay, And uh, we, we have other two sentences and we'll explore them when we code in Visual Studio, but right now you can observe the image at the bottom of the slide. Okay, as I said earlier, Bootstrap Grid system gives us 12 columns, and it's up to our wish how to make use of that 12 columns and make a beautiful page layout. Okay, you can observe here we're having 12 columns. In that 12 columns, they have divided the 12 columns into two parts. Okay, the and each part consisting of six columns. And again, they have divided this 12 columns into three parts, and each part consisting of four columns. And similarly, uh, they have divided this into three into four columns and each part consisting of three columns in it and this is how they have designed the page layout okay dividing each of the dividing the columns respectively such that keep in mind when we divide these columns okay into multiple parts and the summation of all the parts should be equal to 12 okay i'll tell you why why that is important in the when we code in visual studio i hope you understand what is bootstrap grid system and coming to the next slide okay and coming to the next slide the bootstrap grid classes um, Bootstrap includes several grid classes to create layouts for different classes for different devices, okay, like mobile devices, tablets, laptops, desktops, etc. The table here shows the available grid classes. In the sense, Bootstrap gives us these grid classes that you can use to create uh, grid column layouts ranging from extra small devices, okay, this is the extra small devices like phones, to larger devices like desktops, laptops, etc. Okay, and we will discuss uh, these different classes. Whatever we you see here, we discuss these different classes in the coming sessions completely with the uh, examples. Okay, as of now, we'll not uh, talk much about these grid classes. Okay, and uh, my intention was just to give you an introduction or just to gear, tell you how many grid classes are present in Bootstrap. Okay, there are four grid classes present in the Bootstrap. They are dot call access dot call sm dot call md and dot call lg call stands for column x ex, x stands for extra small sm stands for small md stands for medium and lg stands for large and the star here represents the number of col columns you're going to call okay i hope you understood okay coming to the next slide okay these things are the major important things you have to keep in mind bootstrap grid system when you're working with the bootstrap grid system you have to keep three things in mind one is it container rows and columns i'll explain you why these things are very important and why should we uh, keep in our mind when we are working with bootstrap grid system okay they are container rows and columns and coming to the next slide it is the rules what we have to follow okay and let us uh, without waste let us learn all these uh, rules when we implement um, 
when we write our code in the Visual Studio, right now without wasting much time, okay, what I'll do, I'll jump into Visual Studio and start coding. And before that, I have some task assigned to us to, okay, to do a demo. And the tasks are something like this. What what are what are our task? The task is something like uh, we have to create a three column layout, okay, using Bootstrap Grid system with the below ratios. I repeat, create a three column layout using bootstrap grid system with the below ratios in the sense bootstrap grid system is going to give us 12 columns and I want to divide that 12 columns in the ratio 1 is to 4 is to 1 such that we can make a three column layout. Okay, 1 is to 4 is to 1 in the ratio in the sense, um, in the sense I want two columns to the left and middle I want uh, eight columns and again to the left I want two columns and that's what the three column layout web page looks. Okay, when we apply this ratio to this bootstrap grid system, okay, in the sense 12 columns is divided into 2, 8 and 2, okay, and this ratio matches that numbers, okay. Without wasting much time, let me jump to Visual Studio and let me add, this is, this is my empty web project and I'm having a bootstrap files here, you can observe. And what I'll do is, I'll click on this project and I'll add a HTML page, okay, I'll name the HTML page as grid demo and let me click enter and it's going to create me a HTML page and to this page let me add my bootstrap reference bootstrap main.cs okay and what I'll do is without wasting much time I'll achieve my task what they've, what we have assigned like I want to create a three column layout using bootstrap grid system with the below ratios so what I'll do is okay before starting with that let us see some of the important things what we have to keep in mind when we are working with the bootstrap grid system Okay, Bootstrap Grid System gives us some rules to follow when we are working with that. The first and foremost thing is, okay, rows must be placed within a container or container fluid for proper alignment and padding. Okay, in the sense, first we have to, if you are working with the Bootstrap Grid column, we have to enclose all that columns within two important classes. They are the container and the row. And I'll do it for you. Or okay, let me take a due element. Okay, and to this due element, let me add the class called container. Okay, and coming inside again due the class and row. Okay, you can observe the Bootstrap. Uh, it's going, it's going, it's giving us intelligence of Bootstrap classes. Sorry, Video Studio is giving us the Bootstrap intelligence. And right now, let me jump back to presentation. Okay, as I said, rows must be placed within a container or container fluid class for proper alignment and padding. And that's what we have achieved here. We have placed our row within a container for proper alignment and padding. Okay, coming to the next point. Use rows to create the horizontal groups of columns. Yes, obviously we have to do that. Why? Because our task, what we have taken is, we have to create a three column layout and those three column layouts should be enclosed within this row. Okay, so what I'll do is, I'll create that three column layout and let me show you how, we, how it looks. Okay three column layout in the sense I want to divide that bootstrap grid system 12 columns in the ratio 1 is to 4 is to 1 in the sense I want to divide that 12 columns into three parts uh, each consisting of uh, two columns eight columns and again two columns to the right okay so to want to do that let me take our due okay now we know if in order to create that uh, three column layout I want to make use of the grid class right now we, I just gave you a glance like what is bootstrap grid classes and here in, or, in order to work with our example I'll make use of this dot call MD okay MD stands for medium and right now what I'll do is class call MD is equal to 2 I because to my left I need two columns okay because it should match my ratio and coming to that let me add a word called hello world sorry a sentence called hello world in it and let me copy and paste these things just to save the time and our middle column should be of middle part should be of eight columns so I've taken the call mid eight and the, again the last last column to the right should be of uh, should have two columns in it okay you can observe when I count these things eight plus two plus two I it, it gives me the summation of 12 okay and that's what we are making use of that bootstrap grid columns 12 dividing uh, dividing with the ratio what we have taken like 1 is to 4 is to 1 1 is to 4 is to 1 okay when we divide these numbers by 2 2 ones are 2 like 1 2 fours are 8 4 again 2 ones are 2 1 is to 4 is to 1 our ratio is matching 
okay now what i'll do without wasting much time let us run our page let us run the project okay let me click on this google chrome icon and you can observe i've enabled the bootstrap main.css and my project builder started you can observe at the left bottom and it succeeded and now it opens this page in the browser okay let us see how it is going to uh, put it on the browser you can observe like uh, it's putting hello world hello world hello world and but this is not in the good correct format let me add some custom styles to it okay how to do that uh, let me come here and let me add some custom styles what I'll do is I'll add one CSS file add style sheet okay and I'll name it as demo.css let me write some custom styles here let me take a class called customize class name is customize okay the first and foremost thing what I have to do is I want to add a margin margin of 3 pixel and again the minimum height uh, should be of 300 pixel and the background color let me take since we are working with the bootstrap I am a bootstrap lover I'll take the color as violet or blue whatever it is fine I'll take it as blue and again the text alignment I'll take I'll make it to center and the font size I'll make it extra large and color of the text since it is a dark background let me make it white okay this is the custom style I wrote and what I'll do is I'll add this custom style to my web page how do I add it just drag and drop this page below this bootstrap main.cs and I want to call the custom class to my uh, new element so what I'll do I'll just remove this hello world and let me add a new element in that let me write hello world and here let me add a class called customize yes obviously I want to do that and what I'll do I'll just copy this and I'll paste everywhere in other two columns okay now let me go and refresh the page again in the browser and let us see how it looks yes the output is as expected okay and let us come back to presentation and let us see the task what it was assigned to us the task was we want to we want to create a three column layout using bootstrap grid system with the below ratios 1 is to 4 is to 1 and that's what we have achieved here okay you can observe hello uh, this this is having the two columns and this is having the eight columns and again two columns the summation of these three things gives us 12 and we are making complete use of the bootstrap grid system of which gives us 12 columns okay and let me let me jump back to the presentation and I'm having other tasks like I want to create okay I want to create a four column layout using bootstrap grid system with the below ratios okay it's very simple like 1 is to 1 is to 1 I'm not I'm not going to do do this I'm I'm just leaving you you, uh, you do it guys you have to do this thing like 1 is to 1 is to 1 okay how do you create a four column layout using this ratio okay but I'm going to show you like 1 is to 2 is to 2 is to 1 how it works okay uh, it's very simple and I want to divide that 12 columns in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1 in the sense the first column should be of uh, first part the first uh, column which appears to the left side should have two columns okay uh, and the middle two columns should middle two parts should have a four columns each and again to the right it should have a two columns how to do that it's very simple I'm going to divide this due with these things okay and I'll copy again this part okay let me paste it here and let me run, run my page again okay can observe okay we achieved the target what it was assigned to us like uh, I want to create a four column layout using the bootstrap grid system in a sense I want to divide that 12 columns in, in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 2 is to 1 okay and I have done that it's very easy we have to divide that 12 columns in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1 in the sense 2 columns 4 columns 4 and again 2 summation of them is 12 and we achieved the target what it was given and I have left with one one uh, one task this is in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1 I am leaving it for you guys you can try this and you can achieve it it's very easy okay and we have few few points left over let us recall all of them 
Okay, I said you right in the bootstrap, bootstrap grid system rules. Use rows to create horizontal groups of columns and we have done that. You can observe here, this is our row and within that row what we have done, we have created our horizontal groups of columns that is three column layout. Okay, and that's the second rule. And coming back to the presentation and content should be placed within the columns and only columns should be immediate children of rows. Yes, that's what. See here, the content, this content is there, right? It's placed between the columns, within the columns and you can observe everywhere we have placed the content within the columns and the columns only should be the immediate children of row yes we have achieved that you can observe this column is the immediate children of this row okay and that's what the rules tells you uh, to follow when you're working with the bootstrap grid system okay and we are left with the other two uh, sentences things to learn like you can observe here bootstrap grid system is responsive and the columns will rearrange automatically depending on the screen size obviously you can observe here right now the uh, columns are standing next to each other okay now as soon as i minimize this now this is in the desktop mode or a large screen mode now as soon as i move to the minim, uh, md that is medium it, it is as it is but when i move to the tablet mode you can observe you can observe the columns which were lying next to each other now they're lying they're they're lying one one on the one on the other in the sense they are stacked okay now the columns are sitting one on the other okay that's what that's what the meaning of that sentence tells you like bootstrap bootstrap grid system is responsive and the columns will rearrange automatically depending on the screen size okay our screen size earlier it was desktop but when I suddenly move it to a small screen like uh, tablets or uh, mobile phones the columns arranged, arranged themselves uh, on top of each other and that's what we saw and remember that grid columns should add up to 12 for a row more than that columns will stack no matter the viewport in the sense our bootstrap grid system is going to give 12 columns what we have to do is we want to create that 12 columns uh, to make a different page layouts based on our requirements but uh, keep in mind you should not cross that 12 columns once you cross the 12 columns the last column what you are adding the extra thing it will come immediately to the next page to the next row sorry and how do I show that it's very simple you can observe here 4 plus 2 is 6 6 plus 4 is 10 and 6 plus 2 is 12 but what if I do this 3 okay now the bootstrap grid system rule is failing okay uh, we are we are adding one other extra column but which bootstrap is not able to give to us okay its maximum capacity is 12 columns but we are trying to add the 13 okay let us see how it works and let me jump back and let me refresh this you can observe the last column it just jumped to the second row the other row okay because the bootstrap grid system is not able to take the 13 columns in it because its capacity is only 12 okay that's why it just moved that column to the next row okay and that's what the meaning of this sentence remember that grid columns should add up to 12 for a row more than that the columns will stack no matter the viewport and that's it for the day and we learned completely what is bootstrap grid system okay and I've left one assignment for you guys you can try with that and it's very easy you have to divide in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 1 and finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our YouTube channel Ang Pro Training and we are also on Facebook you can like our pages visiting these URLs and we are also on Twitter and for further references you can refer our website and we are on LinkedIn too okay and last but not the least don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day